Good morning guys, hope you're having a great day. Today I am completely redoing, decorating our front porch, our front stoop for fall. It's going to be crazy. So guys, what's fall decorations, plants, flowers, all of that kind of thing without mums. Um, I got this entire um, cart full of mums from Walmart and including uh, these grasses, uh, maybe a little bit hard to see because of the light, but um, these two grasses and all of these uh, plants for under $100 at Walmart. So this is gonna be kind of the start to, um, you know, the whole process of decorating uh, this whole front stoop for fall. And I don't know if you can see this, but I was able to get two bales of hay. <laughs> All right guys, so there's no shortage of mess from those two bales of hay or, or straw, whatever it is, uh, but that is the least of my problems because I ended up picking up this giant, um, and it's actually in the well, so it's like, <laughs> way bigger than it actually looks at the moment. Uh, giant pumpkin, so the bales of hay and pumpkin are from Lowe's and those three items came to just above $100 actually. And yeah, this is a problem because I don't know how I'm gonna lift this 300 pumpkin, 300 pound pumpkin out of the trunk and well of my car, but I'm gonna try.
think I got it, guys. Oh. 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 oh my God. Wow, I did it. So guys, I can't believe I actually just got this 300 pound pumpkin, uh, monster pumpkin out of the trunk. It was, this had been uh, taken out, so it was like actually sunken into that. Used some ingenuity, some elbow grease, some plywood, and a wheelbarrow. Oh my God. Wow, that was crazy. All right, so that was nothing short of a small miracle. I may not need to go to the gym today. Um, I wanted to put it on the two bales, but I just, with the wheelbarrow, could only get it on one. Guys, this thing is huge. It's massive. It really does weigh two or 300 pounds. Like, it's insane. All right, guys, so this is kind of where I'm at with what I picked up so far. I was really hoping to do like a cool ombre effect with all of these, um, with these moms, but I'm gonna need way more, I think, to really kind of create a full effect. So I might have to make another trip back to uh, Walmart just to pick up some more. Um, the bigger size was like 484 and then these little ones were like a dollar. So it's not so bad, but yeah, there's just a lot of space that needs to get filled in to really kind of create that effect. And then I'm using the other bale of hay back here with the straw. I do want to carve this pumpkin. I have some really interesting ideas, so I'm curious to see how that turns out. But uh, yeah, I need to go back uh, shopping, get some more stuff, and uh, you know, see where I'm at when, once I get back. Guys, just got back from my third trip, shopping trip out. Um, it's important to also shop local. Sorry, that's Dexter barking in the background. Uh, it's important to shop local, and this third trip um, was at a local uh, place near us, and again, I spent in around $100, but was able to get quite a lot as well. Uh, so let me give you a quick tour of what I just picked up, and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this will kind of complete the look, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, let me t show you what it is that I picked up at this local place. So I was able to pick up a whole bunch of cute little small white pumpkins, these like Gordy uh, type uh, pumpkins, these tri-color moms, which are just um, super gorgeous. And I think those will really integrate into um, the kind of ombre effect that I'm trying to create. I also picked up uh, two, you know, medium sized pumpkins, a, a nice medium large white and uh, this darker kind of orangey red one. And guys, I was able to get actually a good deal. Um, I was at this local place a couple of days ago and they had, he was saying like 1500 corn stalks and these were the last five. So they're not looking the hottest right now, but they will, um, they should turn like a straw color. Um, and then that should be pretty cool looking. So now I've got to kind of integrate these new things into the design. Uh, so I'm going to give that a whirl and then I'll show you where I'm at. So it's coming together kind of nicely actually. They've got this like ombre effect with the moms, the little pumpkins on the side. Still this big daddy with the grass behind. I put the um, corn stalks around the posts and then I kept a couple of these white pumpkins um, on this other post over here. So I don't know. I feel like it's a great start. It's missing a few final touches, maybe a wreath and maybe something over here. So I'm going to have to think about that a bit and uh, see what I can come up with. All right, guys, <laughs> it took some serious work to cut into this thing. And then I used this blade, which is like, you know, at least four, four or five inches. And then I had to use my knife sharpener to dig in just to get this thing open. And wow, <laughs> it's so insane. 
So I just want to show you how thick this pumpkin is. So it's easily for maybe even five inches thick in some parts. <gasps> and it is definitely full of stuff, so wish me luck. All right guys, here's what it looks like uh, all lit up um, at dusk. I'm <laughs> pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, yeah, Monstera. Well guys, I think that's going to do it for now for the uh, fall setup for our front porch. Um, I did manage to carve this beast of a pumpkin um, and I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Um, I'm going to definitely add some more details for, uh, you know, the winter, Christmas, holiday and um, that should be a lot of fun, but let me definitely know in the comments down below what you think of uh, how I kind of did the whole front porch. Um, yeah, that's it for this one. Miss you guys already. Until the next one.